What up, Twitch chat, YouTube, Vintage Wednesday. I got a sweet one in front of me. This is Covered Jewel, which we played earlier in the year, except it got a sweet new toy. Cannon turtle. Turtle cannon. Turtle with a cannon. Cannon on a turtle. Kappa Cannoneer, actually, a pretty big upgrade for this deck as it gives you a, a, a reasonable plan B, uh, especially against fair decks. Um, basically, what happened was I saw a list that a Japanese player went 5-0 with in paper. Uh, let's bring that up. And then I thought, that's pretty cool. We can do a little bit of tweaking and, and see what we are looking at. Uh, the Definitely the innovation here is that uh, this player played only two Grim Monolith instead of four. Uh, and obviously played some Turtles. Uh, and then I took the deck to... What did I do? Then I took the deck and bam, easiest 5-0 of my life. It wasn't the easiest. I had to play Brian Kelly twice. Uh, but it was pretty it was pretty fun. Um, I, I think this deck is actually quite strong. It, it is a very much an all-in combo deck. Uh, for those who haven't seen the last video, you just try to play Coverage Jewel, which is draw three, make three, and it also has tap, make three, man of any color. There's also some other text on it, but that only matters if you don't win the game immediately. And I, I have yet to not win the game immediately after casting uh, Coveted Jewel. Basically, you play a Coveted Jewel, and then you just play a Metamorph as a Coveted Jewel, and a Metamorph as a Coveted Jewel, and then you pee all your stuff back, uh, and you win the game somehow. Uh, sometimes Vault Key, sometimes Karn, Lock, uh, but basically, it, it's a, it's a Workshop PO deck that is kind of, a, an all-in strategy, but we do have Forces, which is nice, so you're playing Force Ancestral, Time Walk, Tinker, uh, all of which are obviously strong cards. You're a little short on blue count. I think we got it to 20, Three, four, five, six, uh, 10, 14, 18, 21, which is not terrible. Um, there are decks that definitely have played less. Um, so it actually, it, it's doing an okay job of upping the blue count. Uh, we were just talking in chat about pre, pre-stream. Uh, maybe you want to play some more Seagate Restorations, as it's a, both a blue card for Force and a blue land uh, that lets you play things through an oof. And also pretty castable in this deck. This deck makes a lot of mana. Um, and yeah, and this Cannoneer is a nice upgrade because it really helps in those fair matchups. If you can play like a turn one or a turn two Cannoneer against the Jeskines, the Bugs, and those those people, uh, it can end up being uh, incredibly strong. Uh, after talking with CFT, uh, I have put in some Slaughter Packs in the sideboard to deal with Collector Roof. Definitely a, a payable um, upkeep trigger for our deck with, you know, Jewels and Opals and Prisms. Um but also just like being able to cast this at any point without having to have, you know, uh, mana that isn't null rotted, uh, pretty strong. I haven't actually used it yet, so that might be all in theory still, uh, because the league I played in, I think I played against uh, like two control decks, two PO decks, and a dredge deck. Uh, so we're so I'm, this is still more theory than anything else. Um, and yeah, then you're gonna see like a, a Karn board, uh, some Hercules recalls, a balance. Uh, kind of the usual suspects. So we're going to see how fast we can play a league and see how much we can combo off. It's going to be a good time. All right, round one, Jewel Shops. Let's see what we can do here. Mm, turn two Jewel with Mist up. Yeah, this seems fine. Uh, our opponent likes to play combo-oriented workshop decks, but has simple as since, you know, since the introduction of Urza Saga has definitely played a lot of um, Tinker Saga decks as well. So I'm not sure if they're trying something crazy out or if they're playing just a normal Tinker deck. We'll have to see. Either way, we have a fairly reasonable amount of mana. Hopefully a Grim Monolith would dissuade something like a Wasteland. Uh, if we like, we're paired against shops, but if we're paired against blue, obviously misstep is good. Um, and our our metamorph is great if our jewel resolves and kind of not super good unless if it doesn't happen. 
Uh, but it can be pretty versatile, so we'll see. That that is not a good sign. Oh, it may be five color combo. This is a Karn. It's a Karn. Well, that doesn't feel fair, now does it? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is kind of how my streams have been going lately, yes. <laughs> Lotus, Restricted Planeswalker. The good news is that, oh my god, are they going to have Painter and Grindstone in their Karn board? I guess the good news there is I have a mental misstep, so we have some time. Um, yeah. So it looks like non-basic land is back on their bullshit, also known as uh, <laughs> five color, um, what, do, what do they call that? What do the boomers call it? Five color combo. Two card Monty. How do we beat Karn? We don't really beat Karn. Uh, Karn is a... <laughs> uh, we don't really beat Karn. So I'm going to play this Metamorph as a Monolith so that I can um, have six mana to play a Jewel next turn. The problem is they can actually take my Jewel, which I just said never happens. Um, by just, like, animating an artifact, which is problematic. Um, I think I'm just going to hold on to this Metamorph instead. Well, I could P.O. It's just going to cost me so much life. It's going to cost me six life. Maybe I was supposed to play Academy this turn and play Metamorph. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to play Academy and play Metamorph. Hmm. I honestly wasn't thinking about Metamorphing, and then I looked at my mana situation, and then I felt like maybe we should have Metamorphed, but we're not in a great spot here. That's for sure. The good news is I have a misstep for this Grindstone. So as long as they don't have... Too much stuff. Painter would be annoying, right? Because Painter would also steal Jewel. They just have Painter. Yeah. That's really bad for me. <sighs> okay. I guess we could always get our own Painter. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna... Oh boy, what am I gonna do? If I was to copy Grindstone, I would still have to kill this Karn. Man, Karn is so brutal. Karn is... So broken. What color should we make everything? Fun color. Green. <laughs> everything is everything is no longer pretty. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I mean, we have a PO technically, and I can actually pay blue mana for this mist up. Oh, they have a vamp. I think I'm going to let this happen because I think what they're going to do is get mana with this so that they can grindstone kill me. But I'm going to counter the grindstone. Did they activate their Karn last turn? Looks like they forgot to activate their Karn. That actually is pretty important, I think. Because they won't be able to get like... Um, Soul Guide Lantern and exile the Grindstone and then re-get the Grindstone with Karn. It's actually pretty important, I think, that they 
forgot this Karn? I assume with a grindstone in their hand, they're vamping for a mana source. Or maybe they're vamping, vamping for Pyroblast. I guess they could be vamping for Pyroblast. Soul Ring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so maybe they did vamp for Pyroblast. If they're just not playing the Grindstone right now. Well, they could play the Grindstone with the Pyroblast back up. Well, we could draw Force. We have a P.O. Uh, I don't know. It seems like that's a good magic card. No, 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 no. How do I get that? Oh, I can P.O. and pick it up. Um, interesting, interesting. And then I could pitch a card. Do I want to do that now? Should do that on their upkeep. In case they have a blast. I want to be able to replay a land if I draw it, though. But I also don't want to lose my painter. I guess I can lose my painter. No, no, no. I, I'm thinking about resolving my PO to draw force, and I'm thinking they have a pyroblast in their hand. I think this works fine. I'm a little scu scuffed about picking up this servant, but... Okay. That actually worked out pretty well. I have multiple forces that are all blue because of their painter servant. And do I take two life to replay a metamorph on a painter servant? Probably not. I probably just hmm. I want to play two artifacts out so I have more mana next turn. I'll just take one from Painter, I guess. I, I can pitch Metamorph and Jewel. Oh, maybe I don't want to pitch Metamorph and Jewel. Maybe I'm supposed to just play Metamorph, take two to six, get another Painter. I guess they could stand up their Soul Ring and deal two. Ah. I'm taking so much damage. I wanted to make sure I had extra mana next turn, but maybe that was a mistake. Mm, it's tough to say. We know that they have a grindstone and two unknowns and the ability to get something with Karn. All right. So I think this is just, I go to six. So be it. They didn't have a blast. Are they going to get like an exile with Karn here? Or do they have a follow up play? Demonic? Leyline of the Void. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, they have nothing left. I just need to survive? They're gonna go get a helm, I guess. Okay, I have I have answers for that. This feels very winnable. Oh. <laughs> I can't really play this coveted jewel. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to just 
play a painter taking no damage here? Oh, I could play the coveted jewel. If I go to one, and I'll have one mana floating, I can play the coveted jewel, but I don't want to go to one because of my forces. <sighs> But I could because I can I can block. As long as it's not bugged on Magic Online, which I know it was at one point. As long as I block the Painter Servant, it should be fine. I do need to be able to counter... I mean, both Lattice and Helm are going to win them the game. Oh, they can stand up Soul Ring and take it. Okay, I think I'm just going... I really want to draw cards, though. Alright, I think I am just gonna... I could hold up force. I don't want to take two damage from creatures, though. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to replay this Metamorph. As a painter. And I, I'm gonna name white this time okay I have a saga coming which is creatures so I can counter the helm and then they probably plus and then try to get maybe lattice so I think I'm just gonna pitch a f I don't think I need this coveted jewel and I think there's a possibility I want to just keep forcing things Oh, but I'm not going to have another blue card. Ah. No, they're all blue, but I, I want to play my Saga. So yeah, I pitched the Coveted Jewel because it's blue. Because of the Painter Servant. This is a hell of a game. Oh, it hurts my head. I'm, yeah, yeah. With Saga, I can hard cast force. This is true. But I might play cards off my Citadel. That is not a card I'm allowed to play off of Citadel. <laughs> okay. That PO was so good. Or my Forge, sorry, not my Citadel. Fair. Uh, they drew another helm. Alright, I have a force. What do they have off their Karn? They could resolve something that costs three off their Karn. <sighs> Nothing. They're going to forget to use Karn again. Oh, they're going to get something off of Karn. Okay, what are they going to get off of Karn? Needle for my Saga, maybe? They got a Painter Servant. So they can start attacking? No, that can't be right. I have a Saga. That can't be right. There's got to be something better than that. <laughs> it's red, white, and blue. Uh, I mean, this mana crypt is a blue card for my Force of Will. Achievement unlocked. Exactly. Alright, so unfortunately, I have not cast anything off of this Mystic Forge. But, I mean, I have a Saga now. I feel... I feel very winning. If I have to counter something, I probably have to pitch Mana Crypt so that I can make a Saga token. Yeah. Okay. You can't... Oh, that is, uh... 
That is not going to work out for you, friend. This is not an artifact. Maybe they're trying to get me to tap out. That doesn't make any sense, though, because I all cards are blue. Oh, that would have been really bad if I had blocked the blue one. <laughs> I should have stopped. I should, I should have stopped and thought about that for a second. I can't actually kill this blue one or I lose my force. Ooh, it was a close call. It was a close call. But now I'm going to kill your Karn. So I can't imagine I can ever lose from this scenario. Uh, I'm just going to get a top with my Mystic Forge. Oh, well. That is not an ideal card to have on top of my library. So I'm going to attack Karn because I think it's better than attacking them. And then... I'll go to three to get rid of probe. Then I have emerald. And then I, ca I can't play that one. Let's spin. A coveted jewel. That seems like a really good card in this situation. All right, well now they're probably just dead. My opponent played turn one card against our deck that can't beat a collector roof, and we're going to win this game. Oh yeah, my opponent is now very, very dead. Karn is no longer colorless, so I can't cast it off of Mystic Forge. <laughs> You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> All right, well, they're very, very dead now. I guess we should just time walk and kill them. I can't believe that it just happened. That was a great way to start this video. I'll tell you that much. What a hell of a game. And this is why people don't play two guard Monty as cool as the deck is. Wait, I did I did top deck like an absolute mad lad when I cast that PO. I top decked what? Force force workshop <laughs> force force workshop and they had named blue to be fair if they had not named blue on their painter servant and that wouldn't have mattered because i would have played a painter servant and named blue what a crazy game oh man huh. okay so we're playing against two card monty combo i want probably hercules recalls I guess that's probably it. I think you can, like, take out a Saga in this matchup. Oh, wait, I don't have a Needle. Never mind. I can go Needle and keep in Saga. Um, I can, like, take out... How do I fit three cards in here that are... Like, all my cards are good in this matchup. I guess I don't need Cannon Ears in this matchup. Though, if they Karn me, it's definitely better to have Cannon Ears. <laughs> Doesn't feel like a Cannoneer matchup. If we're keeping all our sagas in, I don't think we need Cannoneers. But I do want blue cards for Forest. Maybe I keep in a Cannoneer. Nah, I don't want it. I don't think we need Cannoneers in this matchup. They don't seem necessary. Just want Hercules. So I can, like, yeah, I can bounce in response to grindstone activation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Keep. Classic hand of, uh, 
six cards and a blue card. Six cards that don't cap make blue mana and a blue card. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Workshop defense grid. Okay. Okay. I'm okay with that. If I draw a blue card here, I win, right? Like a blue mana source here, I win. Mox Opal? Mm. All right. Well, I'm going to start with Mana Crypt Top Spin and see if we can find something better. If not, we have like a decent blind name on Grindstone. <laughs> I am one mana short of playing that card. What I could do is hold open Force through Defense Grid. And then if they don't do anything, we spit into a Karn and play our own Karn. Seems like a good use of our Magic the Gathering cards. Yeah, I like this. I do like this. Yeah. I guess letting this resolve means they can Pyroblast my Karn on their turn. Oh, yeah. Karn just also wins, doesn't it? Do I have enough mana? Four. I have exactly enough mana? Okay. Yeah, if they don't blow up my land here... Then they don't get to do anything in on my turn because of defense grid. So that's winning. So unless they pyroblast something right now. Okay. Wow. Yeah, because I have a voltaic key in my board. So I actually have a, a W here. I have my own Karn. It's blue. It's pretty. And then I reveal an artifact from outside the game. I can't believe we won game one. <laughs> it was wild. I have a key. And then I have a vault. And I have a key. Yo, what up? No props. All right. Wow. I am the greater two card Monty deck. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. All right, here we go. Round two now uh, up against Laughing Rock. Laughing Rock is usually on um, workshops, sometimes dredge, but mostly workshops. Let's see what we can do here. We've got a force, but no blue card and no real way to guarantee a COVID coveted jewel resolving turn one or turn two. So I'm willing to ship this back and look for something better. Interesting. So if I play Ancient Tomb, Sapphire, Go, and I will always be able to play a Kappa Cannoneer. No, I will not always be able to play a Kappa Cannoneer. If they strip me, I would not be able to play a Kappa Cannoneer. If they sphere me, I would not be able to play a Kappa Cannoneer if I played a Tomb. So I have to play Workshop as my lead. Uh, I mean, I think it's still worth it. I think I'm just going to go Workshop Sapphire, go, and see what happens. Oh, actually, I still can't play this if they play a Sphere. Shit. What was I thinking? So I guess there's no reason not to play a Tomb, then. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, I'm going to play Tomb Sapphire, go. 
which also plays Jewel. I guess if they play Thorn, I can play Kappa. It's kind of interesting. At least Tomb is less likely to get wasted, and if it gets wasted, I'm... Oh, it's not Chops or Dredge. Okay. Well, that was just a little bit of a surprise. I, I feel like I should know that, but... I feel like I played versus them recently. I guess if we get Collector Roof, it's pretty bad for us. You know bug players and how they always have two of their three mocks in. Wait, no play? No play? No play. So I have three options. I have Cannon, Jewel, Forge. One plays around Daze. One plays around Vigor. I think the answer is just slam a turtle. This has Ward 4. So if they were to play Force of Vigor, then I would not get wrecked. And I want to play the Cannoneer before they... I mean, I could play the Cannoneer through an oof, actually. So maybe it's not correct? Kind of interesting. It's too risky to play Jewel. Like, if they have a Endurance or a Brazen Bar... I guess not Brazen Bar. If they had an Endurance and I played Jewel, it'd be pretty bad for me. What? Why are we not... Bro, I would have slammed that on their turn when I had double Moxin and could hit Collector Roof. I don't like this at all. I would have slammed that Ancestral on their turn. So their hand was Fetch, Ancestral, on color Moxin, on color Moxin. Drawing to Force Fluster. Yeah, I mean, I got. Oh, all three Moxen. I'm a little jealous. Now they have Hardcast Force. Uh... Well, I think it's time for a Coveted Jewel Slam here. The cool part about Coveted Jewel is people get greedy and let it resolve and then they die. I guess if they have Vigor, they don't, they don't. All right, they have a second Force of Will. Yeah. Okay. Blue cards. All right. I mean, we haven't gotten Wasted yet, and we haven't gotten Ooped yet, and we haven't gotten Okoed yet. So, I mean, like, small upsides, right? All right, my third Haymaker. <laughs> I guess third Haymaker. They got to dig through time. Jesus. Maybe it's the new Echo Baron style, like the blue green bug list. <laughs> oh, I kind of want that card though. If I get vigored in response here, I'm going to be so angry. I have to get rid of it and try to keep going. Okay. Take a bunch of damage to preserve my academy. 
I think I'm going to grab a second one in case I get Oko'd. It also gives me another activation. And now I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. Jewel. Looks good. No, I'm so close. They conceded. They didn't know. Let's go. This deck is so cool, man. Oh, we would have hit another jewel. It's okay. <laughs> All right, well, this deck is like just straight fire gasoline. So I think they're the four collector roof deck. So I'm going to bring in dismembers and slaughter packs. Uh, and I guess a boat. And I'm going to take out force of will. I like taking out Force of Will when I don't, like, if I'm not going to lose the game, well, maybe I'm not supposed to take Force of Will out, because Force of Will also answers oof. Hmm. I don't know. It feels like it's hard for me to cut cards down far enough if I don't. I'm going to take this Karn out, maybe. Maybe, you like, trim on Opal and Pio. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of defense grid against this deck, but maybe I'm supposed to. I guess it's fine. They have forces of both kinds. I feel like it's probably a better way of answering their things than forcing and having to have blue cards. Not on stream yet. This might be be crazy i don't know this is a very aggressive board plan that i don't know if i vibe with i kind of like it Let's try it. I'm not sure. I haven't actually played versus like a fair oof deck. So I'm not sure if I like the idea of vo like boarding out forces for removal doesn't exactly sound like it makes sense to me. But I think forces are so bad versus their deck. Obviously that hand's not keepable. This hand is a little short on stuff that we need to do stuff with, but definitely down. Oh. Well, I think we should play around Flusterstorm and not just go straight into a Tinker here. Not that I know what we would Tinker for. Maybe we would Tinker for a Kappa Cannon here. We could Tinker for a Jewel. Wouldn't be terrible. I think I'm going to play around Fluster. Maybe that just gets me Collector Oofed. <laughs> I mean, this also gets me Vigored. Yeah, this seems bad. I should probably just jam Tinker. I don't like what I did. I, I would rather have gone Pearl, Soul Ring, jam Tinker. See, I wanted to play around Wasteland a little bit. I can't cast the Kappa Cannon near here, though. Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, none of my lines were super good against that. So we can still tinker for a jewel and try to combo off if we hit a a mana source. I'm like a mana rock. Like a mox. Uh, Black Lotus Wasteland Flux is bad for me and definitely a reason to keep in forces. I think I hate the ooh, I hate the board plan I chose. I do hate the board plan I chose. I think I need to keep forces in. I didn't think about flux. Alright, well, I'm gonna like have oh I should have tapped these for mana first, and now I'm gonna get flustered and lose. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't tap them for mana first. Uh I didn't get flustered. Alright, so I I have to combo off here. I have to hit jeweled coveted jewel into stuff. I definitely should have had two mana floating there. Uh that is most certainly stuff. I think I'm not playing grid. I think I need to just draw action. I mean, they clearly have no counters of any kind. I draw... No, no, no! No! Uh, if these were forces, I think it would be at least a little bit better. Should I PO this jewel? Probably not. <laughs> I also tap the jewel uh, for blue. So I don't have demonic mana. I played this game very badly. So I think, I don't know. I think I pass. I don't think grit, yeah. Mm. Yeah, we can grit, no, because now I can't cast Dismember on their turn. Maybe I don't need to do that. Yeah, I, I don't think it was wrong to tap the jewel for blue, but I would have had floating mana on my Talarian. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I would have had floating mana on my Talarian if um I had tapped it to, to beat Flusterstorm. Okay. This game is not going to last very long if they steal my jewel. But I would... Okay, yeah. I mean... These dismembers look really silly. Let's put it that way. So when they play Collector Roof here, I have to slaughter pack it. Oh, sure. Because I definitely would have cast Ancestor off the floating blue mana if I had floating blue mana. If it's a creature that's not a collector roof, I can dismember it the same time as I pay for my jewel. Now I would have to slaughter packed an endurance. I am not happy. I think I should have jammed Tinker on turn one and I got completely punished by not doing it. 
I was like thinking about Flusterstorm, but I wasn't thinking about all of the other cards, you know? Yeah. Is this endurance? Oh, it's dig again. Can't be good for me. Well, even simply uh, collector roof was pretty bad. So I think it makes sense. All right, I'm off at chat. Okay, I think Cutting Forces was just a huge misplay. I just don't know how we play with removal and forces. I definitely am going to bring in Trinisphere on the play. And I think I'm going to bring uh, Defense Grid out, forces in. I think I'm going to take out, like, the PO part of the deck, maybe? But then I just don't have enough blue sources. <laughs> I really don't know. I think at least going down on an opal makes sense. Maybe like going down on a jewel, a metamorph. Well, the idea is like we should be able to beat a collector if with a pact and kill them. That's the theory. No, I think boat's very good. I don't want I don't want a cup boat. Boat is a <laughs> boat is a removal spell you can play with your lands. Well, if we were just gonna hope they don't draw oof, then we would just play no removal in our sideboard. And maybe that's correct. Maybe we're supposed to just do that. I don't know how I feel about this. It looks really shitty. I think that it's possible that we can't, like, have four removal spells on our sideboard. Yeah. That's a good one. When's the last time chat saw a hand that had both Trinisphere and Force? I think we need to reconfigure the sideboard. I don't believe I mapped this out very well. This is just like, I have six removal spells. I think that's just insanity. I think we need to re reconfigure the sideboard. It, it's not about multiple creatures. It's about killing the collector roof. <laughs> if it kills exactly collector roof, then it's done its job. But we get to like deploy our hand really fast. I think balance is quite good in this deck. I would be even consider playing balance in the main. Uh, I just decided not to so I could play more about the cannons. Um, you could definitely play balance in the main of this deck. I don't think it's unreasonable at all. I have a Trinisphere. Do you have a Force? No. All right. Cool. I have Saga Trinisphere, which is uh, a combination. Wasteland? Sure. Uh, is it castable with oof in play? No. <laughs> I mean, if you float mana, no. So probably not, no. <laughs> I mean, I just think balance is generically good here. But yeah, I guess castable with oof in play, not being castable with oof in play maybe is a big enough deal. Come on! Second saga? A uh, second wasteland? <sighs> You're gonna let me go to this in case I have a second tomb? I didn't think so. Well, maybe we'll just be stuck under our own sphere here.
Okay, we will not be stuck under the sphere, but I guess this technically doesn't cast anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't exactly do anything. They conceded. I guess they didn't hit any land drops. Okay, we should just quickly fix our sideboard probably while we or before we can play the next round here. I mean, obviously we, we can't fix our sideboard in between this league, but I just want to do it while this is fresh. I think I'm actually off this idea, and maybe this balance is just actually never going to be good. I mean, it might be good in the sense that where where balance is typically good, where you play out your hand and you balance them. I think this is just not actually keepable. So instead, I would like to play like an extra Hercules, an extra Hercules, and archive traps or something. Can I fit three dismembers? If I were to bring in four cards, I think dismember is still important. But maybe it's just. It's not forces that come out, but I feel like you could still trim like two opals, two POs. The best part about this member is you can cast it through a oof. It's about the only thing you can cast through an oof. Are ley lines stupid? Ley lines of what? You're going to have to be more specific. There may be a few ley lines in magic. 16. Well, not exactly 16. Let's go with 14. No, let's go with 11. 11 seems like a really wrong number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 11? There are 11 ley lines? Red has 3. Green has 3. Black has 1. Oh. Anyways... Well, I mean, balance is generically a restricted magic card that this deck does utilize well. But yes, I do agree. Balance not killing Oof makes it not as appealing for me. Leyline of the Void? Well, I don't need Leyline of the Void. I'm going to kill my opponent. I also have, like, I, I don't really care about Dredge. I'm just going to murder them. I think I want to leave it like that for now. Maybe we don't really need four Hercules because are we should already already be favored in this matchup. So I could probably fit like I, I would rather play like a Tormod's Crypt and something else than play Ley Lines. Balance can absolutely not be unrestricted. No, 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 no. <laughs> Games of Magic where balance is cast are absolutely miserable. You don't want to play in a format with poor balance, trust me. <laughs> uh, balance is such a crazy card. All right, I, I think... Maybe I won't go three... Yeah, maybe I will add that Tormod script. And I'll go I'll add an additional recall, an additional Tormod script, an additional yeah, I like that. Okay, right, that's good. I will see you in the next in the next round. That was a bit of a rough cue, but we're back to O bracket. Let's see what we can do. On the play, I've got a force and a turn nothing. I have no castable spells. That's very awkward. What a weird hand. Is this a keepable hand? No castable payoffs. I should have said that, yes. Yes, I should, should be more clear. If we hit any colorless mana, we can play Karn on turn two. If we hit any blue mana, we can also play any artifact. I think we probably keep this. No, we're on the play. The only deck that this is bad against is probably Bizarre. Like, I don't think this hand is... I just think 
every top deck is live, right? Well, maybe not other blue cards. It just feels like we have so many opportunities to like play a turn two card with force backup. Ah, I, uh, why? Mm. Mm. It's okay. It's okay. If we draw an ancient tomb and play our Karn, we can get a Soul Guide Lantern or a Needle. Not the Tor Knowledge Crypt because the Tor Crypt's not in our sideboard yet. Oh god, no, let's not oh please don't say let's draw opal. Okay, it's blood gas vengevine. Uh I'm gonna force that. I'm gonna force this. I guess it's more likely we want to can in here? I'm not sure about that one either. Alright. So Ancient Tomb. I don't have a crypt in my sideboard yet. <laughs> the changes haven't gone through. We're still in the middle of a league. <laughs> uh that's what I was trying to say. Okay. Show me your secrets. Crypt can be better than Lantern, especially when you have only four mana to cast Karn. Alright. Oh, we're so dead. It's very good that we countered uh, Black Lotus. If we had not countered Black Lotus, they would have played Collector Oof plus Stitcher Supplier, or Collector Oof plus Death Rite Shaman bring back Vengevine. They also have a Force of Vigor. The good news is we did hit DT, and we have our on-color jet, <laughs> because I'm, uh, I'm whitelisted. So what do we do? My opponent has no mana, but they have a Bloodgast and a Vengevine and a Vigor. If we get, if we had a Tormod script, I would snap off Lotus, Karn, Tormod script. But we don't. We don't have a Tormod script. So if I plus my Karn, there is a chance it dies. Not a huge chance, but there is a chance. If they bizarre well, they could easily bring back Vengevine and Bl uh, Bloodgast, which is problematic. This deck should probably play an Ensnaring Bridge in its board. I should really want that. Oh, we haven't played a land yet. That's a fair point. That is a fair point. We can Karn and Lantern. Hmm. Well. What if we use a Mana Vault instead? Karn Trinisphere? Holy shit. We could Karn Trinisphere. Man, chat is on fire today. Maybe it's past my bedtime. Alright, I'm down to Karn. Let's Karn. Uh, Black Lotus. Needle is a terrible play, because my opponent has a Force of Vigor. So, they shouldn't be able to do anything through a Sphere besides Bloodgast. Like, we could definitely lose after playing a Sphere, but I could always stand up the Sphere, so... The Sideboard Trinisphere. This actually came up in one of in my 5-0 league. I, I, I went turn one Karn for a Trinisphere. Alright, so they may Vigor my Jet, but I feel like I doubt that. 
You probably want to save the cards for Bazaar. Uh, that is not how Sphere works. I wasn't planning on attacking. I was planning on blocking the Bloodgast. Interesting. Yeah, I mean... That worked. Okay, so... We have to do the thing again where we bring in cards to beat Oof and try to make it work with our crazy sideboard that has too many cards in it. Uh, also, we need to bring in all of these. <laughs> yeah, this is just never going to work. So this time, you actually want balance for things other than Oof. So balance actually is good here. Shit. I, this is impossible. This just does not map correctly. I don't know how we do this. I think you have to take out forces in this instance, which is fine. Like, forces are only good against Oof in this matchup, whereas against the Energy Flux deck, they're good against multiple things. So I actually think in this matchup, our old plan of taking out forces does make sense. We can also take out Karn, because Karn doesn't do anything. Uh, we can trim on Opal, PO, Metamorph, Jewel, and take these out. How does that look? That does look better. That does look, it does look better. I like, I think I like this. Yeah, it, it's different. This matchup, it's different because the only thing we want to, well, that's not exactly true. If they're, if they're splashing white, they can bring in deafening silence. No, misstep is actively good. I like misstep. Uh, against the Hogak deck. You want to hit Citrus Supplier, Dressed, uh, Deathrite Shaman, uh, Stephanie Silence. No, I only want to bring in Trinisphere on the... Well, actually, against this deck on the draw, it might be okay. For the most part, I've only been bringing Trinisphere in on the play. But against this deck, it seems like it might be fine. Yeah, yeah, it might be fine. Let's take out a Prismatic Prism. That was a weird boarding, but it's against Bizarre, so that's it's Bizarre's weird deck. I've yeah, but for the most part, I haven't been boarding in Trinisphere. So there's also a huge issue um in this deck where Trinisphere is bugged with Phyrexian Metamorph. So your Phyrexian Metamorph will always cast four with a Trinisphere in play. Even though that is not remotely how it's supposed to work. Um, but, yeah, uh, it is bugged right now. This is a sicko hand. So be aware of that if you have a Trinisphere and you're playing this deck. Uh, you won't be able to cast your Metamorph off your Jewels. Which is, like, completely broken and very annoying. I got a boat, though. You got a boat. And it's going fast and... Oh my god, no, opponent, opponent, opponent. You are not supposed to play that hollow one. Uh, if you're playing this deck and you put two hollow ones of uh, two venge vines in the bin and you have a hollow one, you should definitely hold this hollow one to try to bring back these venge vines. Opponent got a little greedy there. Uh, I mean, I'm going to just try to combo kill with Jewel, I guess. What, what else am I going to do? It's kind of greedy because my opponent can steal the jewel, but I feel like I have to. Yeah, I mean, I guess I don't have to jewel first. I could prism first. This also helps me play around vigor a little bit. Maybe I wait one more turn. At most, I take 12 and go to 8. And they won't be able to play Oof unless they hit Lotus. Though they could hit play Deafening Silence.
I really don't want them to steal a jewel. I think I'm going to not play it. I think there's enough stuff happening here that I can choose to not play it. That way, next turn, we're set up to actually cast two jewels and try to combo kill our opponent. Obviously, that makes them, you know, they could have a deafening silence. They could have a vigor. They could have lotus oof. Those are the bad things that would happen. Yeah, but you definitely want to hold this hollow one here. Okay. This is fine. Like, if they had the held the hollow one and they had a one drop, they could have brought back two Venge Vines. But now it looks like they're not even going to be able to bring back Venge Vines. It's a common mistake in Hogak sequencing. All right. So our opponent could definitely still have Vigor here. Uh, but I don't think that matters too much as we have just full combo hand. All right, bombs away. Spinning moxins. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So to best play around Vigor, what I will do is cast another Jewel before applying my Metamorph. I guess that's not actually going to help me play around Vigor. <laughs> Um, it's fine. Slaughter Pact. Interesting. I'm gonna use my jewel, or my... Yeah, I'll just use my jewel. No, mm. No, no, I'm going to use my, my meta. I'm, I'm going to try not to take damage in case they bring stuff back. And I want to keep my key untapped in case I draw. Um, in case I draw a vault. I'm going to get another jewel. I could have gotten an, a hollow one and blocked. Uh, that's, but that's game. That is very, very much, very, very much game. Holy moly. I guess I could have drawn an extra card with key instead of making extra mana. I don't think an extra card matters, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can I get some IMAC POs in chat or some IMAC Moxon? Feels appropriate. That's a hell of a turn, too. I played that game a little greedy. I'm not sure how I feel. Like, I could definitely could have gotten Deafening Silenced. And it would have made my life extremely difficult. But we got there. Deck is gas. Here we are. 3-0 so far with the coveted turtle. Let's see what we can do versus Mana Drain 44. Uh one, two, three. Yeah, that's that's a keeper. That's a turn one jewel. So when you're sequencing against Force of Vigor, always lead Opal off color of Moxin and then on color of Moxin. So that way if they were to Vigor you, they would hit your least two valuable Moxin. Uh slam a jewel. Got a force. Force check. Any forcers? Oh, force check. They passed the force check. Unlucky. Force pitching preordain, passing with the Volk up. Well, Saga's very good against Volk. Prophetic Prism, how does that make you feel? Ooh. 
we almost have the mana for that, yes? Five, four, five, seven. I could draw three. They probably have something to counter it. I'm going to just go with Saga for this turn. Saga is very good here with it being a 5-5 five, five immediately. Uh, yes, draw... Well, it's going to be draw two... But next turn, it'll be draw three. Unless we play a land, I guess. Key, not a great draw. Do I want to hold this to try to draw cards with it? I kind of don't think I do. I would think I would rather just use like a top. So this makes five. I could do it. Let's do it. Oh no, I can't do it. No, I can do it. I can draw one less card if I play around Fluster. But then I don't get to tap my Saga. Alright, I will try to draw three for seven mana. I have decided. <laughs> okay, got blasted. Alright, I'm going to play an Ancient Tomb. Everything is fine. So my opponent looks like they're on a control deck, maybe? Or maybe blue-red? Okay, Rug. Okay. Rug is a bit annoying, because that means they could have a Wasteland in their deck. Mm, what? What? Oh, oh no. <laughs> Rug Tinker. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna make a token. Then I'm gonna make a token. And then I'm gonna get a top. And then I'm going to look at their hand. They have ah oh, their their oath, and they have force. So their hand was double force, emerald blast tinker. Uh. Okay, so I could bait the misstep with a, a key. Let's spin first. <laughs> I too would like a blight steel colossus. I I too would like a blight steel colossus. All right, so I will bait. Okay, okay. So think about this for one, a quick a second right now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve key. So I can put I can draw everything and play everything. Which one do you bait with? Do you bait with Jewel or do you bait with Metamorph? Three, six, eight, eleven. Oh, I'm going to be short. No, no, no. This is actually makes a mana. I think I have enough mana. I don't know. Let's try it. All right. So now what I can do is float my mana and go double draw so i have eight 
I have eight. I have 11, so I can play Jewel and Metamorph. Yes. Yes. So I activate. No, I won't, because I have to draw down to seven up to. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good here. I'm good here. All right. So I activate this top. Hold priority. Untap my top. Draw with my top. Oh, that just draws my top. But I can replay top. Shit, I misordered this. No, 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 it's... No, I don't have enough mana. Um... It's okay, I can chump for a turn. I could still bait misstep, true. All right. They probably are... I would consider misstepping this. Because then I can jewel into a Blightsteel. They didn't misstep it. Wait, no, I do have enough still, because I can now draw with my top. So... Workshop cover to jewel... The only thing I'm worried about is... Okay, they forced this. And now... I guess I can still spin, because my life total doesn't matter. Because I know what's underneath... Oh, I should have uh, should have activated and then held priority. I should have spun... I should have spun away this top... No, nah, spinning away top's pretty bad with key in play. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. I'm just gonna get my metamorph. And I have a blight steel. An unblockable blight steel, actually. Do I have a key? Alright, cool. Thank you for your uh your patronage. <laughs> good <laughs> good yes thank you oh that's a good top deck so they have to attack but we could just block with a construct and then kill them with the white steel <laughs> mm, good <laughs> I love this deck uh Oh man, that's a Twitter. That's a Twitter post if I ever seen one. Sheesh. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so our opponent is on oath with Tinker. Uh, I want. A graph digger's cage. And that's it. Oh, I don't really need cannoneers here. Oh, cannoneers could be good. It depends on like how combo oriented they are. If they're like a a deck fade in the Oko deck, we might want capital cannoneers. I at least want this cage in here to fetch with saga. We probably want needle as well. I think I'll throw him a cannoneer at least. Yeah, it's a little hard to say. Like, Basaju changed it for me, but then I actually am going back towards Sphinx because there's just not a lot of Basaju decks, so I'm not 100% sure on what... I think it's kind of a mixed bag now between robots and, and Sphinxes. I think we can trim... Yeah, I know. Eh, I know. I, I can only, like... You only do so much here. I like I want to trim a PO as well because they're like they have a reb they have a reb in their main. Uh reb in their main is an interesting inclusion because it's definitely worse than Pyroblast if you have Dak Fade in. It's possible they're on like maybe a Well, they had like really nice trop, didn't they? So they're not playing budget. Maybe they're just playing 
something else. I'm going to trim a PO. That's 19 blue sources. Sure. I'm off it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, they could be playing the KFC deck. That's true. That's a weird looking hand, but it's a keeper. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I still want forces because my opponent is on Oath. And, like, they could definitely Oath into Grizzlebrand. And they have Tinker. I don't know. I, I would think that this is a force matchup. That's a lot of Moxon. That's a lot of Moxon. Like, if they tinkered right here, we would want Force, right? Uh, ancestral? All right, I'm going... Oh man, we're going to get fucking red up. We're going to get pyroblasted so hard. I think we just go Seagate, Mox, Mox, Tinker, and just hope it works. And go for a jewel. Nah, that can't be good. I have a freaking vault key. I guess I could just... Bait with a cage and play a top and a key. We just run so badly into Force of Vigor this way, but I think it, maybe it makes sense. <sighs> maybe we don't even play a cage because if we have a top and a key, we can find mana. Top is our bait, I guess. <sighs> we don't need to play a cage because we kind of want them to invest mana in an oath. Well, now the jig is up. The news is out. They have finally found me. Hmm. That's a basic island. It's kind of an odd land to play this turn. Huh. I'm fairly confused. Maybe they drew no lands? That we're not island? This is like the last land I would play on this turn. Could be just a misclick. Could be no lands. Ah, oh, they drew Tinker. Wait, so they drew Tinker with Reb Blast. Back up. I guess we were supposed to play Cage, chat. Who told me not to play Cage? Someone told me. Like they definitely have Red Blast, right? I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I should have played Cage. I know I wanted to spin to find mana. I'm just dead. Because if they have tink they have Robot plus Red Blast, I have no counterplay. I think I'm just going to go for the... I have no way to get 6 mana. 
right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I had played Cage, I think I win this game. If I, but I didn't play Cage because I wanted to spin. I can't Volt Key. My opponent is going to absolutely going to red blast my Tinker here. I guess I could go Coveted Jewel, right? Or am I sure? No, I don't. I don't have enough mana. Oh, oh, oh I could have. Did I spin the Opal? No, no, no. Tinker for Metamorph is much worse than tinkering for Volta uh, for Time Vault and taking infinite turns. I think my opponent has Red Elemental Blast. So I'm trying to beat Red Elemental Blast. I think I put the Opal above the Force of Will. So I can draw the Opal here, make an additional mana here, and play Coveted Jewel. But I, I know my Coveted Jewel is going to draw me top Force Unknown. So I could draw a blue card, which wouldn't do anything. But still better than jamming into Red Elemental Blast, because I can still tinker after anyways. But I can't tinker into Vault Key, then I do have to tinker into Metamorph. Probably worth it. Yeah, I, if I just played C Cage, this couldn't have happened. It was just a misplay, I guess. Could have played into around Tinker. So this is drawing us one unknown. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. I mean... I... I have just enough mana to do Tinker with Force back up. I can play top and cage first. I could just play top first. I'm just going to play top only, I think. Because I think I have to get a Metamorph. So the problem here is if my opponent just waits on the Tinker, then... If they just wait on the red elemental blast, this doesn't really work out for me. Because of the way I tap my mana. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it's not a blue creature any after, right? Never mind. It's it, oh wait, is Metamorph? It's not blue, right? I have a picture, so it would have been. It is actually good. No, it's not blue. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, we played Dwar out, I guess. Uh, I don't need to play Cage. I would rather spin for something. Those are really bad. I mean, we played Dwar out and we got there. Like I said, it probably shouldn't have had to go that way if we had just got... I mean, that was probably our like one very close to our one-outer. Uh, we definitely should have just played our Cage on turn one. Oh, they have time walk, uh, they have demonic something. Oh, they have time walk. Okay, I mean, that's fine. I can block. I mean, if they have a deck in their deck, they're just not going to attack, and they can try to look for a steal. But then I will definitely attack if I get a turn. Wait, I have unblockable. They have to attack, on, at least on their next turn. Yeah, I mean, Italian carry it is busted, for sure. Uh, they treasure cruised. That's not good. Interesting cards for an oath deck. Uh... So if they find an out to Blight Steel, obviously, I guess they just kill us. But if they don't find an out, they do have to attack because we have a key. Their outs to this Blight Steel are probably Dak and Oko. Maybe Hercules. Hmm. 
there's no reason they should attack now because they do have a, a time walk to turn. Yeah, they ha they found Hercules. All right, um, that would have been pretty tough because we would have had to beat a Reb anyways. So it does feel like we probably were losing that game even if we played correctly. That's a rough thing to treasure cruise and do there for sure. I'm gonna bring in Trinosphere on the play. I'm gonna take out these Cannoneers. I'm going to bring back in P.O. And I'm going to bring back in Bow. Nah, this is fine. This is fine. I like how we ended up recovering. It was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, a classic. The old don't show you I have vault key. No, I mean, you just don't make, you don't play island and leave open your ruby if you don't have reb or at least are trying to represent reb. So it was a read, but I don't think it was exactly a hard read to make. These are kind of cool hands and kind of annoying hands for your opponent to play. Like, I am going to play uh, Mana Crypt and then play my Time Vault, and my opponent doesn't know that I have a Saga, so it's hard for them to justify countering Time Vault. Feels like unlikely my opponent has Force of Vigor in their deck if they have Hercules Recall, so that's a good sign. So now I'm re I'm representing uh, infinite turns in uh, two turn cycles, so the pressure is really on them to do something. I, well, I mean that's certainly a hand. Yeah, are we gonna get Tinker Blightsteel for the third straight game? <laughs> uh... I guess in this case, if we get Tinker Blight Steel, we should have a blocker for one turn. Uh, so unless they have Time Walk or a Removal, that it wouldn't wouldn't work out. Okay, crack for blue, preordained, bottom, bottom, good sign. Oath, okay, that's fine. Okay, this looks good for us. Metamorph. <sighs> Trying to gauge the merit of Metamorph on Time Vault. And I think there is merit. The only way it would be bad would be Vigor, but it would be good against Dak Oko's claim. Obviously, it's bad against Red Elemental Blast, but...
I think they have red elemental blast. Maybe they don't. It's not. That's not guaranteed. All right. So then there's another further question of do we make a construct? The worst outcome of us making a construct would be we end of turn make a construct and then they nature's claim the thing we try to time vault when we try to time vault key. Yes. Uh, that's why I played Metamorph to beat Dak and Oko. And uh, it doesn't really beat Claim, but. So I think. How much life am I at? I'm at 20 life. I'm going to choose to not make a construct in case they have exactly claim. And I think I can find a threat by the time I, I die to my own mana crypt. Well, now I have a cage. If my opponent casts Hercules Recall, I will be able to replay for three mana six mana so yeah i guess i can yeah dak is a little awkward against the number of like creatures in the format and Pyroblast, and it's a little clunky. It costs a lot of mana. Uh, does it matter which one I untap? Don't think so. So I think they have Hercules if they're not conceding here. Which I do beat with Workshop 7 mana. Eight mana total. They would they have Hercules and Force or for Hercules and Misstep. Then we have some play. Uh which turtle deck? We had a couple now. We played a like an eight cast turtle deck that wasn't very good. All right, so they do have Hercules, but we beat this. So uh, I'm gonna play around days. I guess it doesn't exactly play around days, but okay. So they're going to try to play to him with the Mana Crypt out. That's fine. We should have plenty of time to play to our Mana Crypt. Uh, I'm going to hold the Seagate in case I hit another blue source. I think playing to the Mana Crypt out is fine. Uh, I don't think the likelihood of losing from here is super high. I guess I could go wrong saying that. All right, so I'm going to actually time walk as well because that is going to give me the ability to untap my opal and maybe cast... I don't have enough mana yet, do I? Seagate. I guess I could make another key. No. All right, lost a flip. Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Cast Seagate.
Um, all right, next turn we can jewel, and then we're going to be in great shape. I still have a bunch of turns banked here. Okay, I feel pretty good now. Eleven. Yeah, but now, now it's very over. Jewel. Draw. Mana. Metamorph. Yeah, I didn't have to. I just chose to. I, I, I don't know. What if magic online bugs, you know? All right, opponent dead. Let's get a Kappa cannon here. Wait, why do I have infinite hand size? Is it because I cast a Seagate restoration? I have no maximum hand size! <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. How many turtles can we play? Sorry, I'm having too much fun. Probably could kill them this turn, but I wanted a bunch of turtles, you know? <laughs> I've never had infinite hand size. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I want infinite hand size more. <laughs> Fantastic. Good job. Damn. What a ride. All right. Here we are, chat. Fifth final round of this Vintage League. 4-0. Battling for the trophy in what may be a mirror match versus J.S. Smith. 
Let's see what we can do. That looks like a non-starter to me. Lacks a lot of fast mana. It's not an unreasonable hand because you do have turn one top and key with a backup saga. And you could theoretically get a saga getting a lotus and play a coveted jewel. But if it's a PO mirror, I would really like my hand to be more explosive than this. PO mirrors are highly hand dependent. And this hand just feels extremely underwhelming. We can do so much more. I'm going to bottom this hand. Or mulligan this hand. I, I think it's not good enough. This is the kind of hand that I was looking for. We are a little short. Um, but I'm going to keep it. We're, we don't get the... <laughs> it's going to be very awkward. Uh, because I can't play anything. I can play Sapphire, Opal, Go. Um, but I have a Force... And I have access to Karn, which is a Haymaker in the Mirror. So I I'm willing to keep this hand. Uh, even though it doesn't actually do anything right now. Um, it's close. It's close. Any land. Um, any non-Opal Moxon. Are good draws here. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, Sapphire go. I have access to a Force and hopefully a Karn. Okay, Ancient Tomb, Sapphire, Monolith. Okay, so we are on the mirror. Okay, so yeah, this is a. I think this is a good hand for the mirror, having access to their counter their first threat and turn off their deck with Karn. I really like the play we made, even though it looks a little awkward. If we just can draw any land here. Let's go. That is what I'm talking about. I love getting rewarded for a solid line. I might have been supposed to not play the Opal before the Grim Monolith. Uh, yeah, I'm going to let this Ancestral resolve because the Karn resolving... Like, they could easily have a Force in their hand already. I would rather try to get the Karn to resolve, make them have it kind of thing. I guess they might just force this monolith, it looks like. Hope they don't have two forces, I guess. I got a PO out of their hand, so it's not the end of the world either way. Looks like they just wanted to hit the acceleration. Karn? Nice. Awesome. So I'm going to plus this and get rid of the sapphire. Um, we currently can't do anything off of our Karn, per se. Trinisphere is not very good in this matchup. I do want to, like, a Lattice Lock would win the game, but I don't have the mana for it. I could minus get a key, and then minus and get a car, uh, get a, a, a Lattice, but now they have a Saga, so I might just have to get Needle on Saga first. I guess I don't, because I have my own Saga token. Hmm, depends on what I draw. Oh. Oh my. Okay, so now I'm interested in tapping my Saga token, getting a key, untapping my Monolith, and POing. I think that is a play I'm in interested in doing. It is a little on the risky side, but I think I, I like this line. They have to have drawn another force, basically. And I get to draw four and replay. Well, not exactly replay. There's a possibility I can't replay. Don't want to pick up Karn here. It's an interesting idea, but... Okay, they're off it. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I think we... I think we made a great choice in, in Mulligans and, and got rewarded for it. Okay, so... On the draw in the mirror, I am just looking for a needle and uh, Hercules recalls. And I think I want to. What do 
I want to do. I'm going to get rid of misstep. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe trim. Like. I don't want to trim though. It's a it's a it's a power. It's a race, right? I kind of want to get rid of like a saga. Maybe I don't want a needle. I don't think this game should come down to a saga battle. I don't actually think this game will come down to a saga battle. Oh yeah, we don't need yeah. Kappa in the mirror is a little awkward as well. It is a blue card for force. Maybe I'll just trim a kappa. I don't think I want this needle. I, so the the conventional wisdom is you want to have a needle in your saga deck when you're playing a saga mirror so that your saga can get a, a needle and needle their saga after you've used your saga. Um, but I just don't think that's what this matchup is about. I actually think there are very few matchups that are actually about the saga. Saga is an interesting card. It's a strong card, but I think people overvalued it in the beginning, especially the construct aspect. I think I'm just going to trim Saga and not board in Needle and board out a Cannoneer to play two Hercules. Yeah, that seems reasonable to me. Jewel? Jewel's been great. Card is extremely strong. Jewel is one of the most powerful all-in decks I've seen in a long time. Yeah, I mean, this hand doesn't do anything again, but Force of Will is so important in the matchup. I have access to a Metamorph on one of their things. So I think this hand is great. It's, it is it is an all-in combo deck, but it's an all-in combo deck that has enough blue cards to play Force. Um, and it's fast. It is, it is a fast Goldfish deck. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure if I like Prisms. I'm thinking about turning the Prisms into Monoliths, but... I don't know. Like, Prisms used to get flickered by Ghostly Flickers when there were Ghostly Flickers in the initial versions of this deck. They do help you make blue mana. It's hard to say. That's your, that's your go? Alright, I like my chances. They must have kept a hand with Force. Uh, we, oof, that's a little late on the mist up there. All right, I'm just going to slam this prism first, see if we can hit something better. Uh, okay, yeah, this is good. Now I have I'm almost there. We're looking very close to tinkering. Um, very close to tinkering. We can even, uh, metamorph a ruby to tinker. That would be a little unfortunate because I want to keep the Metamorph for... Because we're probably going to Tinker for Jewel. I'd like to keep the Metamorph so we can um, combo. Because like, if we were to Jewel and have to pass the turn, it would be really bad because my opponent is also probably on Metamorphs. Interesting. Lotus Go. I think they have a Force at least. Okay, perfect. That's actually just a perfect draw. Um, yes, now I can go Monolith... Uh, this prism looks very good here. So, as much as I was shit talking prism before, this prism looks quite good right now. Uh, tinker my monolith. Force pitching time walk. Force pitching misstep. If I already played their top, I'd rather hold up, have a PO for backup here. I'm definitely just going to get a jewel. Oh yeah, game. Absolutely game. I guess they could have had a Hercules there. But now they have nothing. Uh yeah, you might be right. Tinker Prism, so you can have Yeah, that could be true. Oh, they are just so dead. They had Monolith Key. Interesting. Coveted Jewel is a hell of a drug, Jack. <laughs> Look at this. Look at what we're doing.
<laughs> oh man. It's crazy. Trophy. Trophy. <laughs> Got him. Another one. This is still the same main, right? So I can just hit the main and not copy over here. Hell yeah. Wow. This deck is powerful. That's two five O's in three leagues. And they weren't really super close. We kind of bodied some people. I think this main looks nice. I do think that it's possible this third cannoneer should just be an island. Um, I actually think it's probably, mm, mm, yeah, mm, I don't know. That's what the, the, the only thing I'm thinking about in the main is this cannoneer as an island. I'm thinking about these prisms. I don't know how good these prisms are. Um, yeah, I actually think it'd be nice to have a bridge, but our hand actually gets clogged. So maybe not, maybe not, maybe not a bridge. I'd like to have an island in the 75. I don't know if in the main is where I want it though. It's possible it's just like uh this like this on the in the in like this. I kind of like the look of that. So what we did, what we changed, we took out the packs. I think in theory the packs are cool, but I, I haven't seen in practice them being good. We got the extra Tormod script in here so that our Karn's a little bit better and we have some better uh some more access to graveyard hate. We added an additional Hercules for uh for the artifact decks, and I think having an access to an island to board in against uh, Wasteland and Besage makes a lot of sense to me. This way I can keep my third Cannoneer for the fair matchups. Cannoneer didn't do very much in this league, but again, leagues are like extremely combo-centric, so your goal a lot of the time is to, to combo against opposing combo decks. So, yeah, you could totally play a Sphinx or a Bot, I have, for the most part, just been tinkering Jewel, and it's been fantastic. Um, like, there was a, a Citadel in this deck at one point, but I think it's not a very good Citadel deck. Um, so I have just been tinkering for Jewel. Like, obviously, sometimes you tinker for um, Forge, or for Vault Key, or for Cannoneer. Um, but I've just mostly just used it as a way to get to Jewel. Um... Yeah, I like this deck. This deck is super strong. This deck is super fun. Uh, there's a definitely a strong chance I play this on Saturday because I kind of enjoy it. It's a good time. Uh, I like the fact that it's an explosive combo deck, but it still has access to Force of Will. And um, I think that's what makes the difference. I am worried about... Uh, I'm worried about the challenge metagame containing more oofs than a league. This deck doesn't deal well with Collector Roof. That is my biggest problem. It, this is like... This is like 8-cast to me. It's a very similar idea as 8-cast, where you're overloading on powerful artifact-based effects. Um, but it's, it's strong. It's quick. It's fast. It's fun. It's Coveted Jewel. Long May Commander Cards Reign. If you made it to the end of this video, uh, I hope you would consider liking, commenting, subscribing. All of those things are free actions you can do to support the channel. Uh, and I will see you this weekend for the challenge.